How do you roll a punch? What punches should you be rolling? On this video, I'm gonna talk all about this defense in boxing. So the most common roll is rolling to your right out the way of that left hook. There, again. Let's break that down for you. And the way I like to think about that is if you think of the letter U, you're gonna go down, round and up. You're rolling to your right when you're moving out the way of the left hook. Down, round and up. Down, round and up. Now some common mistakes that I see, I know James says it all the time, especially with newbies at the gym, is this. Right, James? Yeah. And what I did there is this. Oh, my eyes are on the ground, whoop. I'm wobbled, I've got them wobbly legs. We don't want to get them wobbly legs, so make sure your eyes are staying up all the time. And that's the same in boxing, no matter what you're doing, you always want to have your eyes facing forward. Your eyes should be on your opponent, no matter where you are in the ring, or even if you're training the heavy bag, your eyes should always be focusing on that heavy bag. So, we're rolling, eyes facing up, but you're keeping your chin down as well. We never want to have our chin up as we're rolling, because again, gonna get them wobbly legs, we don't want them wobbly legs. Another common mistake I'm sure we see is this, where people are throwing, and they think, oh, well, it's fine, I'm rolling out the way of the punch. But watch this, if James throws a hook too, and my hands are down, warm, pop. So you need to keep your hands up here, yeah, when you're rolling, no matter if you're rolling left or right. So to do this correctly, you've got to think about the weight transfer. When, you, when you're rolling, your weight's on your front foot, and you're rolling around, putting your weight to your back foot, because really you want to be loading up your next punch, which will be your cross. I'm here, and I'm transferring the weight to my back foot, and from there I can throw that big power cross. So again, I'm here. Now there I've just rolled out the weight of the lead hook. Now let's just see if James is really trying to knock my head off. He's really angry for us for some reason, and he throws like two hooks, then I can do a double roll, which looks like this. Ooh, we really did go for that, you see that? Again. That right there is how you do it twice. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go down, round and up, down, round and up. And when you are doing a double roll, make sure you do come up in between. So we're not here, here, but we're gonna be down, round and up, down, round and up. And the reason why we've got to come up is, let's just say it decides halfway through, he's just gonna throw one hook and I'm still down here. I can't do anything from here. So I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna come up. If he doesn't throw another punch, I can come up and counter there. But if he does, I'm here, I can see it coming, whoop, I can get out of the way and come back there. Now what we can do to advance this is I can step with it. So if James throws that lead hook, I can roll and I can step. Now look at this, I've changed the angle and come around the other side there, which is great. Again, I'm here, changing that angle. And also I can roll and step to the other side. So if James is leading off with that right hook, I can roll and step there. And if you notice what I did there, I stepped with my lead foot first, slowly, boom. I'm underneath there and you can see the punch a body shot, what he really doesn't like, and then I can pivot out. A little bit more advanced, so again, I'm rolling, pivoting out, coming from a different angle right there. So now I'm gonna show you how to counter punch with the roll, and James has got the bodyguard on because I'm gonna be blasting him in the body. Okay, so here, now if James leads off that lead hook, I'm gonna roll, step, I'm gonna punch in my left hook to his body. Now again, slowly, I'm rolling, stepping, now, the important thing here is when the foot lands, the punch lands, because what this is gonna do is get your full body weight behind the punch. And then if I do it hard, even though he's got a nine inch body shield on right there, he should be able to feel this. Okay, let's go here. Oh, yes, give me that again. And then bop, 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 bop. I can come from that different angle there. So you've seen that, rolling, stepping, and blasting in that body shot. Now, we go to the other side. Now I'm gonna roll out the way of his right hook. And what I'm gonna do here, as I'm rolling, I'm just gonna throw the straight cross to the body as that front foot lands. So slowly, boom, there. And then from there, I can pivot out and come at him from the different angle. Again, I'm gonna do it with a little bit more power. And come around them there. Them are two really good counter punches that you can do with the roll. Click here next and watch this video that I've done all about body punching. If you want to learn how to punch really hard the body, click here and check this video out next.